Like, I'm, gonna gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what you could have done instead. You could have paid like five dollars for a Spotify <laughs> Spotify Premium membership, and you could have gone to the Unmod Gucci tab. <laughs> Buy Spotify Premium, you cheap fuck! <laughs> Why Spotify Premium? Just go to fucking YouTube when the R soundtrack inevitably gets okay. leaked there, and then just fucking If you are legal compelled to spend to support the creators in any way, then just spend the money for Spotify Premium and go to the soundtrack. I mean, okay, to be fair though, to be fair though, if they, if they get like five bucks per sale of, a, of the classic edition, what? that's more than if I streamed the soundtrack a thousand times on Spotify, considering yeah, how fair. Spotify's payouts work. So like, I actually, keep on. Also, keep on actually cool. watching them on YouTube would probably pay them more than in just AdSense. Shit, yeah, it's exactly. Too high. Fucking hell. Speaking of video games, did you guys hear that like um, God of War Ragnarok is coming out for PlayStation Five and PlayStation Four? Yeah, yes, I, I did. Saw that. Yeah. It's really interesting. It also Dude, I'm, I'm it concerned because like I have the first model PlayStation Four, and I'm afraid that it's I'm gonna not like out. load it up into the fucking into my system, and then it's gonna be like, Vrrr, like it's gonna sound like a fucking jet taking off, uh, and it is. Yeah. Yeah, it most definitely is. That's how it sounded with the other God of War games. Most so it's like, likely, it's gonna be like 30 frames per second or something. Yeah, yeah most yeah, likely. Probably. Am I the only yeah, one who really get does ray not... tracing? Am I the only one who really does not give a shit about frames per second on a game? Not really. Um, I mean, hey, yeah, guys, let me give you a, a game that's playable. one frame per second. And see if it's you playable, like. yeah, as yeah. Long as it's that's, playable. Yeah, that, that's long pretty as much playable. Yeah, no, that is my stipulation, but if it's like five frames per second and it's like a fucking PowerPoint slideshow, then I'm like, yeah, that's that's a fucking issue. That yeah, is that's, an issue. Issue. that's yeah, not no, playable to me. That's not playable. I will add a caveat to that. I'm being I will add told, a caveat to that. I'm being told, like, 32 frames per second is the norm and then 60 is, like, the professional, but I'm like, what's wrong with 24? There's nothing wrong with 24. Yeah, it has that more cinematic look to it. I will, I will add a stipulation to that. Uh, if you're playing... Any of the modern Resident Evil games, like such as Resident Evil 4, you have to have your frame, your frames per second set at a certain level, or else it, the game scripting will literally fucking break and it will start to melt. That's yeah, as long That's as, cool. as long as your as long as your system, like the game mechanics, aren't <laughs> tied to frame rates. Like I think the the Kingdom Hearts games are like that. And correct me if I'm wrong. I've never played one. Wait a minute. But like. If your frame, if your, as long as your systems aren't tied to frame rates, I really don't give a shit about frames per second. Oh. Like, as long as it runs you mean, well. Like Fallout seventy six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Look how that like, turned out for him. A <laughs> great example is like Piss the off. the fucking Arkham Knight, which was like on PC it was capped at like twenty four. I was like capped at like thirty. It's like, yeah, game still looks good and runs fine. Like, and now it's uncapped to sixty, which is great. Like, because it looks even, it runs even smoother. But, like, who gives a fuck? If it runs well, it runs well. Yeah, exactly. Like, I was never one of those people playable. that's like, oh, it's it's not 60 frames per second literally unplayable because I have little bitch okay. eyeballs like that. I'm like, it's like, yeah, it's fucking 30 Little bitch eyeballs. No, that's literally like... what it is. It's just fucking whiny little cunts that are like, oh, it's not fucking 60 frames per second. My soft baby eyes can't process that <laughs> the, that little fucking little information, and it gives me headaches, and it makes me sad, and it's literally Honestly. the worst game ever if it's not 60. No, no, no. Like, uh, let's like, play the shut worst the fuck up. Violin. It's fine at 30. It is fine. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Sorry, you got on a rant. Hang on, Ian. Ian was trying to talk. I go on a rant because this is the shit that always fucking happens. People will sit there and be like, "Oh, it's not 60 frames per second or some Hello, stupid shit like that." And then, like podcast. five years yeah. down the line, they're gonna take a look back at the game. And they're gonna be like, "Oh, this game was so good. It was so much fun to play. It was so fantastic. <laughs> why did it not do well?" So oh, gee, I wonder why. I don't know. <laughs> literally, literally, look at any game friend. that has been going on, like, in, that has come to, back into light over recent years. Look at it. I'm being dead ass. <laughs> How many games have you fucking seen that have been released in recent years so that much. said, oh no, they're fucking, this game sucks, it's fucking stupid, it's garbage. So and then five years later, it's like, oh, this game was so good, it was so intuitive, it was so unique, it did so many good, why was this game so underrated? Why why did nobody play it? Why did nobody buy it? Oh, maybe it's because you were too busy bitching that it wasn't 60 FPS! <laughs> you guys so much, I'm gonna be honest, like, I miss this, this game so much. 
Okay, okay, okay. Time out. Time out. Solar, take a breath. Aeon, talk. Um. The witch. <laughs> no, um, I just got back to Solar. What we t no, wait. What, what was I referring to before that? Fuck if I remember. Uh, uh, he wouldn't shut up, so he should you no, yeah, no, of offense, no offense for there, but I stopped caring about that like one minute into it. It's really I, funny. <laughs> Listen, I stopped caring, but it was really funny. No, it, it was, was funny a, that it went on for as long as it did, but I really did stop after, after like 30 seconds. It was about like 10 seconds, so I was like, okay, I get where he's going with this, and I agree with him, but I'm just gonna let him run, because it's really funny. Now when do we get to the off-color part of the stream? Yeah, really. Uh, you think that was the uncolored portion? Ah. What? What was that, Vlad? <laughs> no, Welcome this was to Shades of Grey. Welcome to territory. <laughs> and we have uh, gone so far down that there is no light, there is no color, it is just black! Anyway, I can't wait for Halo Infinite to be shown at the <laughs> Microsoft panel. It looks fun. I'm actually, I'm I'm more actually it and, like see if it'll be co if there's gonna be co-op like that. That's the game I'm looking for. I am for actually what about you guys? cautiously optimistic for Halo Infinite right now. Like, I can't wait for the shit, for, the shit that I've seen has looked pretty good. So like just just like not even just the gameplay, which I like. I don't see what people find wrong with the gameplay. It looks fine to me. Like it doesn't look it. It looks like slightly fast. It looks like Halo Five gameplay, basically, with a grappling yeah. hook. It, it's not. Listen, it's, it's like yeah, it's not it's, combat evolved exactly, but hey, it's it's still pretty good. I'm Rest sorry, like, too bright green. Really, oh. it's the just best thing about it. It has a it was, grappling hook. It's the best yeah. game. All games with grappling hooks are the best game. No, I, well, I, I do want to point true. out though. I hope that they do something good for Infinite because so far they've kind of. Not in a, they sort of in a halfway kind of like Star Wars sequel, three four three's trilogy because it's like they can't decide on an enemy or a story because they keep changing it all the goddamn time. And then I, they, I'm then kind they of keep glad. No, no, but here's the thing: like the didact, they set him up to be this big villain. They set him up and like, oh shit! Now he's got six composers, and then they kill him off in one of the comics, and no one knows what it is, and on, kind, no one even cares what happened to him. Um, yeah. So the, the idea that he's alive just doesn't even matter. Like, yeah. That's in, and then there's uh, Halo 5 where they're like, okay, well, we can't, for whatever reason, we don't want the Didact anymore. And, oh, yeah, this cool Covenant Revenant rev remnant leader guy dies in a cutscene. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Which, by the way, he was also set up to be a big bad, too. And that fucking, uh, yeah, that he was killed off literally, like, the second cutscene of Halo 5. Yes, cool and fan. now, the, and then there was the Warden Eternal, but then, obviously, he gets taken out, and then it's like, oh, he it's gets Cortana taken now, out like eight and, fucking then, times. and then Halo Infinite comes out, and it's like, okay, the, your enemy isn't Cortana, it's the brute from Halo Wars 2. What? I'm, I'm actually kind of excited for the Vanished, just because of, like, basically what I've seen isn't just a matter of the gameplay, it's their design philosophy and, like, their approach to yeah! how things work Whoa! in the actual game. <laughs> the also, real. It, okay. It's because, like, first oh, off, you. the design of it looks very much like Halo, which I'm very- I'm glad because, like, it's not the 343 really busy art style that we got in 4 and 5. Like, 5 it was a little better than 4, but I- I- I didn't like 4's art style. It- it, it was like- it was like it the one that just tried- realistic. Yeah, it yeah. tried to add too many details, you know <gasps> what I mean? And then the yeah. Halo Infinite armor comes out. It looks Welcome great, you know, it's nice Halo and podcast. simple. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of composite plates Fucker. on an understudy. It looks like it. the Halo CE armor. This is what you want. Yeah. Okay. And then not to mention uh, there's the fucking brutes that just throw grunts at you that suicide. That's fucking hilarious. I no, want more shit is... like that. Uh, no, I think I think that'll be good for gameplay, but story-wise, um, what happened with the whole Cortana thing? Because that seems okay. to be forgotten about. I have uh, an answer for that. Do you want to know what my theory is? Sure, what? go for it. Bioware already got it. Bioware already did it with the Reapers. Yeah, they did. Literally all of Mass this Effect is literally, is literally what they were setting up. Yeah, they're setting up for Mass. <laughs> the Effect. The entire fucking plot of Mass Effect is basically what they were setting up at the end so of Halo Five. What I'm understanding is that the next game should be called Halo Mass Effect. 
Dude, yes. that's okay, okay, okay. That would be ignoring the fucking fact that, sick, though. Ignoring the fact that Mass Effect is already a game series, Halo Mass Effect is a fucking rad title. Like, let's yeah, just be real. Exactly. If, exactly. If, the Halo, if there was a Halo sequel with a, with a subtitle Mass Effect, I oh, it sounded like cakes. Even yeah. oh, even if yeah. even if it w had nothing to do with the Mass Effect series, just that title alone is God enough to pique yeah, my interest. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it has nothing to do with yeah. the actual Mass Effect series. Ignoring the the fact that Mass Effect is its own game, ah, I just think that the title there. Hey, ah. Halo Mass Effect is cool. Um, yeah. You guys but expecting that they're going to show anything about the new Mass Effect at E3? Probably not. Probably I don't think Bioware is doing tired. anything at E3. Because because apparently the, they're bringing back the old universe with Liara and Commander Shepard, even though Commander Shepard dies in like two of the three endings. Yep. Yeah. So they had to edit the ending with a free DLC because yeah. we're that terrible. <laughs> because, what? Hey, so, the, so and, question: What color do you yeah. guys want? I want blue. Oh, <laughs> uh, red. <laughs> ending. Red. <laughs> I forgot what I the ending was. But uh, the thing about Halo Infinite, though is all I want to know is, can it be in co-op? Because I want to know if Fireteam Fuck Up can all have grappling hooks, because that'd be fucking hilarious. Like, I, I, we could I've get... heard that there are like additional Spartan characters in the story, so if there is co-op, that's potentially who would you, who, who you I, would be I playing as, need. which I hope. Or oh, like, yeah. also, or just also just the possibility, hey, just put your multiplayer Spartan in there. He, he just that's gets to I fill want. in the blank. Like, you know, like, what color? Oh, I mean, bro. I just want to point out, too, speaking of the other campaign uh, characters, uh, I think they also essentially, um, I could be wrong, I swear I heard this, though. They did that thing where they killed an char important character off off-screen, because they apparently just killed Locke um, in some obscure side media. I, th nobody cares about Locke. Name one fucking person that no, gives no, no, a shit I, about Locke. But that's Locke. what I mean when I say Star Wars. Se they kind of Star Wars sequeled this. Yeah, exactly. They There's killed like Locke no and they plan. left him on that island with the hatch with the mysterious numbers and the smoke monster. I, like, 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 literally, I'm, no, nobody liked Locke. No, no, no. He was the thing is that, but that's the thing though is that like, the gameplay is probably going to be fun. I mean, like, I didn't have too many problems with Halo 5's gameplay. Yeah, um, it's just that I. Wouldn't it be nice if the if it was actually like a good sequel trilogy too, though, like story wise? I, I've heard basically that they are looking into ways to implement the things that happened in Halo Five into the story. So, like basically Cortana going off with the with the definitely Fuck. not Reaper. That's that's something that actually Ow. happened. Yada yada. Fuck but like, you. I don't know how they're going to do it. I'm interested to see how. I, I, and all I care about is if we can get 20 minutes out of us fucking around with grappling hooks. I, yeah, no, like, that's gonna be the first 30 minutes before we even shoot anything. It's just gonna be us fucking oh, no, finding every sure grapplable we... surface. <laughs> I will make sure if we if we can all get Halo Infinite, if, and if it has co-op, we need Here's to film a video thing. where it's 30 minutes of us fucking around with the fucking grappling hook. Can we grapple we each other if that's, that's the thing? Yes. Yes. Oh yes, my yes, god. Yes. yes. That would be so funny. Can we, we would... do an infinite trapeze across a ravine? Yes! Yes! That'd be that's great. what I was fixing to ask. I was fixing to ask. Like, if I grapple somewhere, and then midway through, somebody grapples onto me, and then can you just chain grapples like that the entire yes. way across? Can we that's do what that? I want to know. See how badly this will go wrong already with me. But this oh, is yes. literally a boys will be boys moment with if grappling we... hooks. Yes. If... If we try to if do a let's play, give a man of... a grappling hook. He will try to the locker room. room. We we try to do a playthrough of Halo Infinite. It would just be like four hours of us grappling each other. <laughs> just like, oh shit, the there's thing. a story. Oh some yeah, we have to play the, the video game. That was the type of shit that I did in fucking Halo 2 when I was doing the run through with Damn Warther. It. Like one one of the first things I fucking did was just when we were playing the Heretic, Ow! I activated a glitch Fuck called Sword Flying. <laughs> and you know that you know the scene where like the Heretic this is running off. like to the safe room to to hide from the yeah. storm. God, this is getting yeah. annoying. Yeah, like halfway through that, like he was halfway across the room, and I activated the sword flying, so I just. Flew across the fucking okay, room and sliced him in from? half. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, I saw. It was that. so funny. No, you should have seen it from my perspective. Here. I saw it in third person. It was beautiful. So, 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 wait, wait. Somebody in the chat just said, "Grapple the warthog," and that sounds oh, hilarious. Grapple the the banshee. Ooh, 
Oh, so, like, I thought it was wait, wait. ski. What if you could grapple into one, like, the gunner's seat or the passenger's seat? I'm thinking, because that's how I play. That's how I play Halo with God that. Like, you guys off. have never seen us play Halo, probably. Uh, Piss I'm off. very bad at Halo, and I just think my 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 favorite strategy to do in Halo games is just get into the warthog and start yelling, and it's very funny. Um, I want to do that now. Now that you've just talked about, you know, grappling into a warthog, I'd be down with that. Ooh, That's ooh, so here's the question. Here's the question. If you're riding shotgun where you can actually use your guns in the Fuck warthog, off. can you still grapple from there? Oh can you grapple out of the warthog? Can I you have a grapple? Can I fucking jet ski? Ski? Go away! Yeah, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Can I can I jet ski? Can I just gr latch my grapple onto the back of the warthog and just fucking like jet ski across the entire Harry behind the warthog yeah. as it's driving. Can you go parasailing? Can with we the dual hook? wield? No, no, no. Can you dual wield with the grappling hook ah, and like a different gun and this, be on I'm the back of the warthog with the grappling hook and also shooting things? No way! Can, so yes. can you dual wield with <laughs> the make grappling hook and the magnum? Gunner. Is what I'm understanding. Yes. Meanwhile, back I in Metroid. So. Meanwhile, in Metroid, Golden's having a problem. I'm having a pest but problem. Go away! <laughs> they're they're going to keep spawning. Ignore them and shoot them when they get close. Yeah, like, except literally. they kept getting in my way when I'm trying to jump across a gap. I just find it ironic. Shoot them before you jump. There you go. Now That's you got what it. I did before, and then one responded in front of me.